What's up, YouTube? What's up, guys? It is Thursday, and guess what? It's another video, but it's a simple video. You ain't got to cook every day. You, you, you can take a break for cooking. With that being said, I'm taking a break for cooking, and I am making a tuna fish sandwich. So I'm just going to show y'all this quick video on how I make my tuna fish. Lay back, relax, throw your feet up, get your favorite bag of chips. What are your favorite bag of chips with any type of sandwich? Tuna fish, cold cut, whatever type of sandwich you eat. What's your favorite bag? My go-to chip is either the orange cheddar sun chips or either salt and vinegar or either us honey barbecue. With that being said, y'all, let's go to the kitchen. Who wants a tuna fish? already crunched up i am using um the tuna fish that i'm using is chunk light and it's in water and it is by who's the chicken in the sea this right here and i have two cans of this and to my tuna fish i always add albacore i don't know who else out there like a good albacore tuna but i'm using two cans a tuna this is how I make my tuna fish. It's a quick, y'all. Like I said, everything ain't got to be a bill. And y'all know what? The summertime is coming. The grill is going to be ready to go. And we're going to do a lot of outside cooking. A lot of outside cooking. So. I'm about to do what? Two cans of tuna. Two cans of tuna. And to my tuna fish, everybody would like my tuna fish. Because what I do is that I add a can of albacore. So, like, if I'm doing two cans of tuna fish, I'll add one can of albacore. If I'm doing, like, four to five cans of tuna fish, I'll add two cans of albacore. Because I'm doing one can, um, two cans of tuna fish, I'm only adding in one can of albacore. And this is Bumblebee Solid White Albacore. Look at that. I just like the taste of it. It tastes different. And it is it, it like um it's different. I just like adding this to my tuna. It, I just like it. It just ugh, make sure you drain all the juice. I thought I did. But a little bit escaped me. But guess what? I get everything in water. Wait, my god. This is a chunky piece. You don't want to come out. There you go. It's almost like the chicken in the can. Now you get chicken in the can. You got to dice it up. Make sure you drain it real good. I had a little bit of water escape mine. But that's okay. And we're going to chop it up. Chop up the tuna. So every night. So when you do decide not to cook and you say, I'm not going out, but we're going to do some type of sandwiches. What do you guys what do you bank on? What do you do? What do you make? And I'm gonna toast this because ain't nothing like I'm using this right here in my hot spoon trying to break the tuna fish up. Ain't nothing because that uh, avocado is like a white tuna and it's chunky like canned chicken. Yeah. And I love a lot of eggs in my tuna fish. But I do too. I told y'all, I did not like anything soupy. So I did not use a, um, a whole lot of mayonnaise or Miracle Whip or whatever you choose, salad dressing, whatever you choose to make yours with. But what I do like is some sweet relish, baby. Hmm. I love the sweet relish. Now, how much relish you use is up to you. I love the relish. Oh, that's a lot of relish. I love relish in my tuna fish. Remember, your kitchen your way, my kitchen my way. And the only seasoning 
that I use, honey, is some black pepper, okay? I even put mustard. Mustard? Did she say mustard? Yes. It gives it a tang. Yes, she did say mustard. Um, what else? What else? What else? I got my mayonnaise. I use real mayonnaise by Kraft. And again, I don't like a sloppy. My mother, man, she used to make her tuna fish, her tuna salads, and all that stuff. She like it real sloppy. I don't like a lot of mayonnaise. One thing I can't agree on, me and her love a dry potato salad. But when she made tuna fish and stuff and tuna salad, she loves a lot of mayonnaise. And I'm like, no, a lot of mayonnaise is not for me. I like it dry. And this is it, y'all. This is how I make my tuna fish. I'm going to stir it up and grab my toast. Cut up my lettuce and tomatoes because we about to eat some tuna fish. And I still have a few chunky pieces that I need to chop up. But that's just enough mayonnaise. For real, I might have had a little bit too much, but nah, but that's just enough. Let me get this mixed up and more of this tuna chopped up. All right, y'all. I'm going to put a little bit of onion powder. A little bit of onion powder. And a little bit more pepper. And I'm gonna stir it up. There you go. You put whatever seasons you like in yours. I gotta get them hunts up out of there for that chicken. Uh, we wanna put our toast on. Yes. Okay, guys. So you saw me put the mustard, the relish, the pepper, and the um onion powder. I forgot to. I use see I use uh some people like uh celery. I don't like celery, but what I am using is that I put a little bit of celery seasoning. If anybody, I'm gonna let you guys look. This right here. This is I got this on Amazon. I like the flavor of celery, but I really don't like the crunch of it. So I got this on Amazon. It's a celery on um, um, ground celery powder, and it gives you the same taste. And this tastes good in your chicken salads and your tuna fish, even in your potato salad. Because if you want that good flavor, but you don't want to actually want to use the celery, you can use this right here. Let me stir that up. And it, it, it's very, you don't have to use a whole lot to get that flavor. It smells like celery. You hear me? Mmm. This is a bomb tuna fish, y'all. Let's mix everything up. And I said, let me chop my chicken up in here. Y'all know I got no chicken in here. I'm going to say, let me get that avocado tuna chopped up because it's a solid white. And I said, she put chicken in here? No, honey, she didn't. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. I got my two pretty, beautiful pieces of toast. And yes, I add mayonnaise. I'm not making a sandwich. So, yes, that's one reason why I like the tuna fish kind of dry because I like to add the mayonnaise. Not a whole lot, but just enough. And I love a toasted, um, a toasted tuna fish sandwich. Oh, honey, I use my cake spatulas for everything. <laughs> you cannot go wrong with this sandwich. Okay. And some good old chips. I don't have no chips today. Oh, I do got a bag of Josh. No, I don't know. We got them other chips. Not the kind of chips that I would eat with these, but okay. Like I said, I like the um the orange sun chip, cheddar cheese sun chips. Oh man, they the best. Some honey barbecue us. When we lived down South Carolina, 
They didn't have Honey Barbecue Us. So I had a doctor this chip called Wise. Who know anything about a Wise chip? I had a doctor this chip called Wise. And they Honey Barbecue, all we could find in South Carolina was a Honey Barbecue chip by Wise. Could not find that Honey Barbecue um, Us chip. And if you love tomatoes, honey, like we do, like I do, I'm getting three tomatoes up on this sandwich, okay? Three. Gonna add a little bit of pepper up on there. Hand me a hot sauce right there. I like it, do. I like crystals, but we ain't got no crystals in the house. Yeah, so I cut these some tomatoes. Andrew just came for work. He looking like, oh yeah, my kids can now who? Whoever kids can't cut tomatoes. I can cut tomatoes. I'll say that. Oh, give me that hot sauce right here that's open on the table. table. That hot sauce is on the table. Oh. Pull up, y'all. It smells good. <laughs> you trying to make it seem like I can't cut tomatoes. I just don't feel like Pick it. Pick that up. Oh, you don't feel like it. Who on that? Pick that back on the shelf. I don't Who this on one. I cut a tomato. All right, y'all. Just a drop or two of the hot sauce. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And then let's go in with our tuna. Like I said, we ain't got to cook every night, people. Nobody want to cook every night. But when you ain't going to cook, make sure you make an ultimate sandwich. Something that they could be like, oh, yeah, that sandwich was good. There you go. Look at all that tuna fish. Every bite, you getting some tuna, baby. You leave it up to me. And just like that, you're going to take this one and you're going to top it. Who wants tuna fish sandwich? Because I'm telling you, if you live next door, come on, baby. This sandwich belongs to you. All right, guys, see my next video. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified. And no, I can't take a bite because I got to take a thumbnail. But look at that tuna fish sandwich. Go ahead and grab your favorite chips. This is what we eating on a Thursday night in my house because they don't cook. Check out Soul for Tea Vlogs. Check out Cook Amateur Cooking Guy, My Sister New Life Journey. And guys, don't forget to check out my book. I have a brand new book about my survival of domestic violence. I was you. From tragedy to triumph. If I could do it, you could do it. The link is below. Mmm.